Google Hangouts might be a thing of the past, but YouTube Live isn't going anywhere. In fact, in the Video Masters Academy, which is my private training group, we work with business owners on YouTube Live and how to set up a webinar using YouTube Live. You have live video, plus you have comments, the ability to post links, and so it's a really great platform. And right now in this video, I'm gonna show you how YouTube Live works and how you can set up a webinar on YouTube Live. Owen Video! Hey everybody, I'm Owen Video and I'm broadcasting live to show you how to set up a webinar on YouTube Live. I'm going to be short and sweet and get to the point here today. I'm broadcasting from my, my desktop. I've got a couple different um, screens up. Okay, but here's what I want to do. I'm going to go into my screen share and I'm going to show you exactly the steps you need to go through to set up a YouTube Live. Okay, and I want you to have this base of knowledge because there's a couple different things that you have to do. So let's go to the screen share here. First thing is you log into your YouTube channel. You can see that I'm in the back end here. And you're gonna click over here and click on Creator Studio, okay? That's gonna bring you to this screen. You're gonna click on Live Streaming and then click on Events, okay? Stream now is not, is not something you need to worry about probably ever. But events is where you're going to want to be, and you're going to go to new live event. That's going to open this screen here where you're going to set the date and time for your event. Now, if you've already set up YouTube profiles or template profiles, then you'll all of this will be pre-filled. With TubeBuddy, which is a tool that we recommend, you see TubeBuddy up here, and this is the icon here. TubeBuddy allows you to set up multiple profiles within YouTube. So you could have a webinar profile, you could have a live video profile, a regular YouTube video profile, and that sort of thing. But for today's purposes, we're gonna go ahead and add this webinar. We're gonna put test webinar title here. And then we're gonna schedule it. We'll just, just call it tomorrow, and we'll say 12 p.m. tomorrow is fine. Now for a webinar, I would leave this unlisted. Unlisted, that way only people with the link can find it. You can add a description here, and I would highly recommend it. And then you could put your tags down here like webinar, or you know item one or whatever the case might be and the reason that you're doing that is because that's just to help you track you know where your videos are and you might even want to call this like thank you page like you know there's all those are all sorts of tags that i use for setting up videos that are unlisted that i'll use internally elsewhere okay under advanced setting you could spend time here and that might help your ranking moving forward but for the most part uh, we're not going to focus on that and then you're gonna to go to create live event. Now that you have the event set up, you can start sharing it. And there's gonna be two major groups of people you're gonna share it with. You're gonna share it with your internal group. That's gonna help you on the back end, okay? That's gonna help you on the back end manage the webinar. But then you've also got the front end. This is what the public's gonna see, okay? And that's gonna be all done on YouTube. So the public is gonna view your live webinar on a normal YouTube viewing page that has comment section and the description box like you've always seen before. But your back end team will also have access to the workroom. I call it a video room, which looks exactly like Google Hangouts. So even though Google Hangouts is going away, YouTube Live is not going away. And they're still gonna be using the Google Hangouts interface. So let's go back to the screen here and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. How to invite your team and how to invite the audience. So let's go back in here to the, to the settings. Over here under type, okay, we have quick. We're gonna use Google Hangouts on air. And that might change, that might state something else in the near future using the YouTube Live Encoder or something. And then you're gonna go custom here. Custom is when you wanna start working with higher end, uh, with higher end softwares, Wirecast and OBS, like that's where you're gonna wanna use custom. So right now we're not focusing on that. We're gonna focus on Google On Air. Okay, I've already saved that. Now there's a couple thing, key things here. When you're ready to go live. So I can click on this or I can click Start Hangout On, on Air. So Start Hangout On Air. This is how I'm gonna get my back end membership team into this event with me. And if it's your first time, it might walk you through some agree to this and agree to that and permissions, but I want you to notice the bottom area here. Notice this area here, this one, two, three, four. If you don't have that right, right there, you're in trouble, okay? It means that someone else has logged in ahead of you 
and either and it's eliminated your your broadcast controls okay it's a glitch it's a crappy thing but you got to have this green start broadcast button down here this is your go live button do not press this until you're ready to go live Okay, you hover on the screen and you've got your sidebar menu here. You're only really going to play with the chat room, which allows you to talk internally to your team, right? Internally with your team. And then you've got your screen share button. And your screen share button is going to enable you to quickly share your screen, right? So I can go through presentations on my, I can do live demos from my desktop. I can also share my PowerPoint window or, or any of that stuff. So I'm going to click stop here and stop screen sharing. So you can see that on, on YouTube Live, I have this ability to go back and forth really quickly, and it's a great webinar portal. Now, here's how I invite my team members. I'm going to click up here. Well, first of all, notice all the, the menu bars up here. Okay, you've got hang up, settings, volume, camera, and microphone. I can turn my camera off. I can turn my microphone off. And I can add people here. If you don't see yourself, you're going to want to click on settings. Play with your camera settings here. If you don't hear yourself, play with your audio settings here. And you can test all that there. But here's how I'm going to add my team members. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to copy this link. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to, you know, Facebook or email or wherever it is. And I'm going to, you know, write up my team. And, and send them that link. When you send them the link, they will join you in the Google Hangout, okay? And they'll be on the back end here and able to talk with you. So that'll help you manage the, the broadcast. So let me show you now what your viewers are gonna see. So let's go back to, let's go back to the screen share. So notice how the Google Hangouts window, I'm in my, my own window here, okay? So that's key. But behind it, I have, you know, I have my, my browser here too. So I can still have my, my window up in one screen, my stream on one stream, and be watching the presentation in the other stream. So when I click here, because I'm live, it's going to go right to the video. Or I'm not live on this, sorry. I'm gonna, you're going you're gonna to mute this so that you're not hearing this audio and this audio here. So there's no echo. So you're going to mute this right off the bat. And you're going to be able to watch this. You're going to be able to watch the presentation live here, but also be able to impact the presentation on the back end here. So over here, you'll want to open up, you know, this is before anybody gets here. You'll want to say, hi, everyone. So glad you, uh, let's do this. So, hi, everyone. Before we get started, please tell me who you are and what you do. So that when new people get here, they see that you've already been here and that you're, you're ready to engage with them. Comments will pop up in this section here. So let's say someone says a comment like, hey, I can't hear you, right? You're able to now go back into this room and say, David, they can't hear you. Talk louder, right? And you can speak to the presenter without anybody knowing that you're there. All right? So this is the link up here that you're gonna email out to your list and this is where they're going to be viewing it. You can view it here as well and you need to be viewing it here as well and answering comments and engaging in the conversation. But you're running the platform from back here, okay? So here's the breakdown of this and then I'm gonna end this training is that you don't need multiple screens or computers. You just need to have two windows open. If you need a third window open for email or Facebook Messenger, I recommend it because if all else fails, you can reach your team on Facebook Messenger, right, if there's a problem. So we just have that third window open for extra communication, but really it's you have the Google Hangout window, then you have your browser window where you're watching the thing live with the volume off, 
and engaging with, with comments and, and that. Remember, what you're watching on YouTube is going to be about a 15 to 30 second delay from what you're seeing in the back end, which is why you don't want echo. You want to mute that video. And I hope that you enjoyed this training. If you're not already a member of the Academy, I definitely want you to check it out. You can go to the link that's on your screen now, bit.ly, or it's in the description box, bit.ly.com slash VMA enroll. We'd love to see you there if you're wanting to take video marketing more seriously. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Check out some of our other training. Enhance your knowledge. Thanks so much for watching.